Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm making Vanitas from the case study of Vanitas. Really enjoy this anime. And now I'm finally creating his doll. I think I've only seen one crochet doll of this character so far and I decided to make my own. Even though his outfit looks kind of complicated, but we'll see what we can do. And here is the first update. So I went ahead and created his body. I started off with black shoes and then he has like a white along the bottom part of his shoes. Here is the black pants. Most of this part will probably be covered because he does have an outer layer, but I still went ahead and created the details anyway. So the front part is this periwinkle color. It's kind of like this purple blue kind of shade. I think it's more purple though. On the back side, it switches to like a different color, which is dark country blue by I Love This Yarn. And I did some color changing for once. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Very simple color change, but it looks quite satisfying, I think. And then the head is bald. I gave him pointy cornered eyes. Decided to give him this because I feel like his character is very cat-like and so are his eyes. So this is what we have so far. I'm gonna go ahead and create the rest of it. Be right back with the next update. Hi guys, welcome back to another really quick update as I'm about to go somewhere. So here we have the body. This is like the inner part. Gave him this little bow right here that made them bow with the Arctic ice. Created two little ribbons, which I glued on to the back of the bow. Then I glued that bow on, on this little side right here of his waist. And then this middle part here, there's a little flap. This is the bottom of the shirt, which I created in black. And then I simply went around and sewed it all the way around his body instead of gluing it this time. So that way I can go ahead and like sew on this middle part right here which is also Arctic ice. So that way it could look like the ribbon is being wrapped around his waist and the ribbon ties off right here. And here is the middle of the shirt. I created this other bow using soft blue. It's just like a typical bow that I created for all the other dolls I've been making. And here is the collar, which I used white. And then I went ahead and sew this all the way around the doll as well. Without gluing it on this time, I'm leaving the collar upwards the two little flaps on the front side upwards. And this is what it looks like so far. I also gave him an ear here. I'm only giving him one ear right now just because it shows. The other ear doesn't really show, but that's why I'm giving him this one. And this one also has like two, three piercings on here. One piercing is like dangled down and the other two piercings are on like the top part of his ear, which I think looks really, really cool by the way. Love making little piercings. And yeah, this is pretty much what the doll looks like so far. So here's the front side, just like the side. And here is the back side. So for the hair cap, I'm using black. I'm using four inner rounds, three outer rounds to create the hair cap since his hair is going to be a little bit shorter. And that's how I'm currently making it so far. Be back with the next update. Welcome back to another detailed update. So here I am gonna show you head full of hair. I actually completed the head first before making the outer layer of the body because I didn't have the chance to create that first. So here in the beginning part is the front part of the hair. And I started off with making these couple of strands on the front of the face. These are two 10 chains right here. Here I have a four chain on this side and I have four chain on this side. And the rest are pretty much all filled up with eight chains. So here I have an eight chain right here, which is like an upside down triangle. And then I have another one right here. And then it fills up right here as well. This one is like a strand that's like poking out on the side. This one pokes up on the top. And then on this side, here's another upside down triangle. And I got another strand right here. And one right here next to the ear. So it's black, so it's kind of hard to tell. But here I put the hair strands along the bottom part all the way around. And then I fill it up in rows on the top side. So here are more eight chains and then right here is the little he has like this long ponytail that starts off from like the center back and then it goes around to his shoulder right here and that's how i decided to do it and that's what his hair looks like and i will be completing the outer jacket layer after this so yeah i'll be back with the next update hi guys welcome back to the final update for vanitas and here is his explanation on the outfit especially this really bulky over layer jacket thing that he's going on right here. As usual, I usually make the sleeves separately from the main body part of the jacket. So these sleeves are removable like this. And these are like the same sleeves that I made for Shout On from Cardcaptor Sakura, except I just tied this middle knot right here in between the sleeves. So that way it can like be like the reference. And I made it one color instead of two. In the On the inside, he has like a light blue shade, but I kept that out since it wasn't really necessary. This one also comes off as well, same thing. And this is what the jacket looks like on him without the sleeves. So it goes right here, it circles around. And then on the back side, I try to make it to where it covers up 
most of the back part and it kind of like opens up right here. It's kind of weird, but I have like the details of the notes in the description box below if you want to know how I make it on my Kobe page. This part, it's, if you wanted to take this off, which I could remove it, I just have to like take it down. But otherwise it's going to stay on him like this and I actually much prefer him without the jacket so that way you can like see the backside, like the color change of the shirt, but that's fine too. So I'm just gonna go ahead and like leave this on him, even though it looks extremely bulky, but that's fine because he wears it a lot. With the jacket being this bulky, I feel like you can barely tell <laughs> who he is because it's covering up so much of the details, but at least it's showing the bows and stuff and like the earrings. Oh my gosh, it's like I'm scared it'll get covered up by it. And I created his hair black, even though he has like really dark blue hair because I wanted to make sure there's like a difference between the hair and the jacket. So we're just going to go with black in this case. And I think it looks pretty good. So yeah, this is the front side, this is the side profile. Here is the back side. Whoops, this part needs to be put up right here. And there you go, the back side, other side. And pretty much, yeah, there you have it, Vanitas. That's what it looks like. And next I'll be creating Noe. Hi guys, welcome back to the first update for Noe. So here I'm starting off with dark charcoal for the legs and moving on to the pants. I used white and here is this shirt where we have some color changing going on. And I did this little one little stitch right here, which I changed to white where it kind of curves upward in the middle, the reference photo is on the right anyway, so you can tell. And then the back side, I did some little bit more color changing. And the top part on the back side, I used Thunder. And then this part is Orchid. And I did a little bit more color changing right here. So that way I can add like the white collar on this part. And for his skin, I am using something different for once. This is Toasted Almonds, which I'm using for his skin tone because he does have a darker skin tone than a lot of my other characters. And his eyes are also different colors as well. I'm using grape, which is like pretty much purple for the iris of the eyes. And then the eyelids are just white. So yeah, very interesting eyelids. And this is what he looks like so far. And there you have it. I'll be back with the next update. Hi guys, welcome back to the next update. So this is what his body currently looks like with all the little details that I added on the front right here. The top part, I added on this little white collar. It's the usual typical collar that I always add on. And I know I did some color changes around this neck right here, which honestly wasn't necessary because I didn't realize it was gonna get covered up by the collar anyway. And that pretty much hid all the color changes that I did right there. So totally not necessary. I'm gonna have to adjust my pattern. And then after that, I went ahead and added on this little simple black bow, which isn't really visible, but that's a bow right there that was necessary to add. So for the rest of the front part, I took black yarn. This is like the regular black yarn and it looks kind of messy right here. It's a little bit wonky because I was trying to like create details for the buttons and I simply sewed this part down the middle and I should have used thinner yarn for that, but I didn't. So that's how it turned out. And I also gave him two little pockets right here. I did take my lace black yarn and I put these two little slits across the pockets for the little details that he has there. And yeah, that's pretty much the front side. I really wish I could do something else about the button. Maybe I should like redo that because it looks really bad, but at the same time too lazy too. Now here is the back side. what this looks like. I just did very minimal details for this one. This is the belt right here. It's like pretty much covers the back side only because you can't see it on the front side. I used mixed berry for the belt. And then I these are little belt loops, which I have two of them. And I took yarn and sewed an, an X right here in front of the belt. And that is it for the details for the back side. And I'm not sure if I talked about the arms. I think I forgot about that. <laughs> so for the arms, I used antique white and then I used thunder for the rest of the arm sleeves. So I'm actually using two different shades of white here because I wanted to have some variety and maybe it's not too obvious on camera, but the whites do look different between white, off-white, antique white, and I only have antique white and white, so. And for the head, I am doing four inner rounds, four outer rounds, plain white hair cap. And I'm starting off with this 12 chain right here, which I placed down like this. So here's the front part of the triangle. I placed it on sideways, I twisted it, and then I'm placing it next to his eye right here because he does have this one long weird strand that goes in the middle of his face and these two chains this one and the other one right here are eight chains and that's currently what he looks like so i'll be back with the next update hi guys welcome back to a final update 
for no way. So I did a little bit of adjustments on the shirt right here for the middle part. I took out what I did before and I just created three little knots this time using black. And I'm not sure if this is any better, but this is what I could come up with. So we're sticking to this. And for the final update on the hair, I used eight chains for the rest of them. So I got like a few strands sticking out right here, a few more strands over here. And these are like all eight chains laid out. This is the only 12 chain that I'm using. This is what it looks like on the side. And here is the back side lined up along the bottom part. Here is the other side. There you have have it the top filled across right here and then laid it all out like this and there you have it so this is his white hair and it's so interesting because he has like darker skin and then you have like really really white hair after that i went ahead and created his hat which this is like the little mirror that's like stuck on the hat i use silver and honey by yarn bees for this and then i simply sewed on this little strand that goes across for the chain here's what it looks like on the inside i try to like tuck in most of the leftover strands as much as i could and there you have it it's not like the most perfect hat but i wanted to fit his head kind of snug so i tried my best to create that let me go ahead and try to like put this on. I'm gonna go ahead and secure the hat on with pins. Okay, so sorry if you hear any noise in the background. We are doing some renovating on the place. But anyways, here is the hat on his head. This is what it looks like. And I am pretty satisfied with this so far. And I know he wears like this white coat, but I decided not to add on because I want like the details of the outfit to show. And I prefer that for Vanitas too, although I probably will leave his jacket on. But here is the final result with the hat on top i did have to do some like little adjustings once i made the hat i just had to like shift it into place and this is what it looks like so there you have it so like i'll just like tuck this part down or something and then to create that little shape and there you go so this is what that looks like and after this here is vanitas again i think he looks so much better without his jacket right <laughs> I mean, I'll probably go ahead and add on afterwards, but for the thumbnail, it's just going to be him like this, maybe, or maybe with it on. I'm not sure. Really, really happy with it. And I love how they look together. So it's really cute. I don't think I'm going to be creating any more characters from the series. This is probably just going to be it for now, or maybe for the rest of the series, just these two only. If you guys want to know how to make your own anime hairstyle, like the way I do on my dolls, I have links to the description to my Nikki hair tutorial pattern in the description box below, along with my other base body patterns. And thank you guys so much for any donations. I appreciate them a lot. And I'll see you back in the next video. Bye!